Welcome to the channel, everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed yet, please do so now. In today's video, we are going to look at a JSC listed company. And the name of the company is called Sassel Limited. So most of you are probably very familiar with this company. And you would remember that in March 2020, uh, there was a crash in the stock, just like a crash in all the stocks around the globe. But Sassel was really one that stood out because it is at the heart of South Africa. And a lot of people were very scared to get into Sassel at the time. And they weren't really sure where things were going or if the company would, was going to survive. So if you recall, a lot of people on social media were very interested in the stock asking, should they buy it? Is now, is, is now the time to do so? And a lot of people actually did go and buy into the stock and, and have seen astronomical returns over the last year and a half. In, in today's video, I want to talk about where I see the share price going from here. So I've put together an analysis for us to use for educational purposes. Uh, I just want to remind you that this is not financial advice. Uh, this is just my personal analysis of where I think the stock is going to go. So please don't take your life savings and go and pile it into the stock because it may not turn out to be like this. So with that being said, let's, let's look at the graph in front of you. Here I have, I have Sassel in front of us and you can see around about March 20th. March 26, the share was in, in, in the 20s. So I think it bottomed out at around, around about 25 Rand. And that was the point of extreme fear. A lot of panic in the market. And you can see how it fell from 320 Rand from 3rd of January, was going strong, looked like it was pushing up and higher. And then all of a sudden, it just crumbled. The stock tanked. And I want to talk about some of the reasons of why it did that. Firstly, we, we know that COVID hit and the pandemic was, was unpredictable and everything sold off in fear. But a lot, Sassel got, got a hide in because they never hedged the oil price. So they were exposed to a price, an oil price that was declining the price. They weren't getting as much income because of that. And because they had a lot of debt on their, on their books because of their projects overseas, like uh, Lake Charles, and people were worried that they were going to not be able to pay their debt back because their income was getting less and less because the oil price was crumbling. Therefore, their income that they were getting in made investors nervous that they weren't, be, they weren't going to be able to pay their creditors back. So a lot of people bailed out the stock, they panicked. <clears throat> and as the saying goes, when there's blood on the street buy or when people are selling extreme fear, that is the time to enter the market and time to take profits out of the market is when there's extreme euphoria. So think back to March 2020. And now I would say it's we are in that euphoria moment. So the markets are 50-50 at the moment. So you may still see significant pullbacks in some shares. But putting that aside and all the risk, I, I want to show you what I've done with Sassel. So from its March 2020 low, uh, Sassel's been in an uptrend. And it's had its pullbacks where most people that aren't uh, Technical on following technical analysis would have thought, oh, the share is tanking again. I must sell out. So they might have bought, panic, sold, and then the, sh the share rallied from there. So I want to point out something here that you can see from its initial sell off from about 25 Rand, it bottomed and then it started climbing, sell off, climb, sell off. And it got to a high of about 179 Rand. That was on. 9th of June 2020. So in less than two or three months, the stock had almost recovered. Well, not recovered to the 320 level, but I mean, it, it, it 
gave significant returns for the people that actually got in there. So a recovery from that sense, from that lower base. And then people panicked again as soon as the sh share started dipping. Ah, Sassel's going down to 20, whatever. And you can see how it formed a bull flag here. It had this long period up and it came down and it touched this end of the end of this upper channel, which was 73 Rand. So a lot of people thought, ah, 73 Rand again, the share, it's going back down to 20 Rand. I'm sure you can recall people saying, get out now. Maybe even some people saying, load up now, that's an opportunity. I was one of those people that recommended that you should load up, well, I, what I was doing. And that was a point of extreme fear again. Possibly the second wave, people were still worried about the debt, restructuring of debt. There was numerous reasons why. And that was on the 30th of October, was an awesome opportunity to load up with some more shares at 73 Rand. And since then, subsequently, the share has been rallying, rallying quite hard. So from October 2020, you can say from the beginning of November 2020, all the way until April 2021. And that's less than five, six months. The share has returned three, 400% in the time. Since the crash COVID, it's returned about 784% from about 25 Rand to 221 Rand. And if you had bought in there, you would have seen significant gains. Now we get to a point where people think, all right, where does the share price go from now? There's not much room left or I'm nervous to enter because it's rallied so much already. How, how do I play this? What can I do? So on the 29th of April, 2021, the share hit the upper range of that upper trend. You can see I've drawn these two yellow lines, the ones that are, are moving upwards in a sideways direction. They are showing that Sassel's share price is moving in an uptrend. So a lot of people would have maybe taken profits at 250 or people are panicking, selling now, thinking the share will go down. Most likely the share could test about 170, 180 Rand. So we could still see some downside risk here of up to 20%. But the share could also go straight up. You can see that I believe that it will go down in this red channel. And before or at that lower end of that, of that um, upper trend line, we should see a bounce. This will confirm a new lower high, sorry, a lower low, a higher lower low. So we have our original low here, and then we have a higher low. And at the moment, Sassel's in formation to put in a new higher low. So as long as the share price stays above 160, which was the old resistance level, you can see where it broke out here. When it first reached that upper end of that channel at between 160, 180, uh, I've put the support, well, now support, but previous re resistance at about 160. So for me to have confirmation that this is in fact an upper trend that Sassel's in, the share needs to hold above 160. So I would, if I'm going to trade it, I, I, I'm prepared to hold this stock for up to a year, a year and a half maximum. 160 is my exit position. So as long as the shares holds above 160, I continuously buy. You can see, because if it comes down and it pulls down and it hits this lower trend of this upper trend, it's still in that, in that bracket. And as long as it has a new, a new higher low, that is bullish. That means you can see a low, a higher low, and we will probably have a new higher low here. And then from there, buyers will step in, people will accumulate, traders will enter, and the share should work its way back up to the upper end of that trend line within that channel. 
So what we're looking at here is a bullish formation of an, and it's an uptrend for Sassel. Now there's a few things working for Sassel and why I think it will continue to play out this way. One of the main reasons, like I mentioned earlier, is why the stock sold off was because of oil and their high debt. People were like thinking, how, how are they going to pay for their debt when their income is drying up? Now, Sassel's learned from that mistake and they've currently hedged their oil price at $60, between $60 and $72, I think, in between that. So no matter what happens to the oil price, if it drops below 60, Sassel is still guaranteed an income that they can work with because they've hedged it. And they've hedged the rand at $14.60 against the dollar. So they've learned from their mistake before where they previously didn't hedge anything. So their income dried up drastically. So now to protect them in case economic turmoil happens again or something unforeseen, they have still got an X amount of income. So 2020 is looking very good for Sassel because their income is slowly going to increase or stay consistent. And as the global economy starts to recover, more and more industries will start opening up. People will start to slowly travel more, be more cars on the road, more trucks driving around. As the economy opens up, this demand is going to keep the oil price elevated. So we will, we, I won't say we will, we most likely won't see an oil price collapsing like we did in 2020. And Sassel has hedged that, so we know we're working with sixty dollars. So that's very, that's a very good indication. And I, I think as the recovery happens, um, Sassel is in a neglected industry, well, uh, sector of of stocks. Most people are going high, <clears throat> high growth tech stocks, and have neglected banking stocks, energy stocks. So I think we we will see a rotation out of certain high tech stocks, and We'll move into neglected companies, neglected sectors. And this is where I see Sassel benefiting. So the technical analysis here is showing me that Sassel is in an uptrend. As long as we stay in this yellow formation, this upper trend, and above 160. So for me, I will be looking to add to, add to Sassel in the coming weeks. I would say probably in, in this coming week. I will add a position into Sassel. And as always, I will cut dollar cost average in. So I'm prepared to go in at 221, 220, 223, 22, 24, around about there, because my end target price is where it broke down from in January 20, sorry, in January 2020 is where it broke down from. And that was at about three, 320 rand. So for me, I see that as strong resistance and Sassel is probably go going to make its way back up to that level because that's where it, it broke down from and we are in this bullish formation going upwards. I will sell out at about 320, which is about a 45% upside return from here, but buying the dips along the way, you could easily find yourself banking an extra 50, 60, 70% in returns over the next year and a half. So my price target for Sassel next year, this time, I would say between June, July, August, September, 320 Rand. So if I put 10,000 Rand now at current levels and I don't add any more and I just leave it until next year this time, I would hope that my, my 10,000 Rand is at 15,000 Rand. So I'm willing to gain 50% and I'm also willing to risk up to 20% of my capital for that reward. And I'm willing to buy the dips to bring down the average purchase price from, two, from 221 Rand. I won't buy every single day, I will buy once a week over the next few weeks. I would like to watch where the share price moves, but I think by the towards the end of the year, Sassel is probably going to be closer to 200 Rand than where it is now. 
But that's not guaranteed because Sasol might break out of this downwards channel that you see in the red and it might explode to the upside. That's why I want to take a position now and dollar cost average in because if I'm waiting for 180 no, for November, December, I might miss the move to the upside. So it's not guaranteed to make its way down to that bottom channel and then break. It could break sooner and retest the upper bound of that upwards channel and then pull back. So if I'm planning to trade it, I could take some profits along the way here, yeah, sell out, cash the profits, and then most likely we're going to see a, a, a pullback again within that channel because it probably won't break up and break up because that will it, it will move too quickly. And Sasol is also a, a stock that is sentiment driven. So whatever is happening in the macro economy, the global economy, oil price, rand, local economy, there's a lot of parameters and a lot of factors that will affect this share price. So your risk can be managed. And I think there is potential to make money here. Yeah. So I wanted to share with you what I'm going to do over the next coming weeks based on my technical analysis. I will leave this link so you can follow the trend or, or how it plays out in, in, the, in the description box of this YouTube video. And again, I just want to remind you that this is not financial advice. So please don't be reckless. Don't go and take your life savings. Don't refinance your house to go and chase something that might not even be correct. So use it for educational purposes and watch the trade play out. If you are going to enter and you want to risk, please manage your risk. Please always consult with a professional financial advisor before you do something like this and always only risk money you are willing to lose. So just to sum up where I think Sassel is going to be, uh, my price target is 320 Rand by next year, July, August, September. That's when I will exit out of the company. And my minimum profit margin that I want is 50%. I believe that Sassel's got tailwinds behind it. Management uh, is proactive now by hedging the oil price. They are managing their finances better. And I think from the global recovery, Sassel is going to attract other investors that are searching for yield. And there will be a rotation out of high growth stocks into energy stocks, banking stocks, certain neglected stocks. So also one thing I want to re re reiterate here is that 160 is my stop loss. So if I enter at 221, I'm willing to continue buying, but I, I will exit if we see a close below 160 because then it breaks out of that upwards channel and it's broken out of this last resistance area, which is now support. So this will be a strong area to hold because this is where it broke out. And the next resistance area is where it broke down from. So we'll watch that and we'll see how it goes. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have a position, if you took, um, if you bought the share in March, 2020. Let me know if you have any stocks that you are interested in that I can check out, research. And then if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. And I just want to continuously thank you again for all the support. And this will conclude this video. So from me, I will see you next week. So bye for now.